cup without destiny is about to meet his destiny on his last day of retirement. But uh, anyway, uh, has it been your role to sort of come up with the one-liners and the sort of the action cliches and all that, or who, who's responsible for that? Yeah, as usual, this is me and Emil in a nutshell. Uh, we uh, <laughs> we sat down, had a couple of beers, uh, discussed a lot of characters, and I mean, there are so many characters. We actually had to merge a few, uh, but like uh, with which ones did you merge? Yeah, well, <laughs> we let's see, here, we we had to uh, merge. Uh, oh, this is copyright infringement, but uh, McLean from Die Hard, we had to merge with Arnold Schwarzenegger to, to get Dutch McClone, uh, who is uh, this uh, Austrian-born uh, uh, character that's moved to the United States and been teleported into the future and gotten his identity stolen, uh, and he has to find a way back uh, to his job as a kindergarten teacher. Okay. And he, he's, he has this heavy uh, uh, Austrian accent, uh, and he uh, constantly tells people to to get places and and uh, to chill out and I mean he's he's a regular nice guy, he's just a regular guy. That's what he keeps telling people. Uh, but he uh, when it comes to killing, he's uh, he's got a real killer instinct and he he's really good with one-liners. So <laughs> so which which stars were big enough so that you you could not possibly merge them with anyone else? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a difficult question really. Um, it's it's not necessarily only action movie stars. For instance, we got a character called uh, Haley Sky, which is sort of a spin of, uh, for example, uh, uh, Kaylee from Firefly, merged with Lara Croft. Uh, so that's kind of the adventurous kind of girl and uh, adventurous kind of girl, adventurous kind of character. And uh, other characters include like the entire New York cop, uh, uh, Lenz Kowalski, which is sort of sort of Polish and also black at the same time. Uh, but and also sure food the ancient uh, Chinese grandmaster which is basically Bruce Lee at an older age merged with uh, what's his name in Gremlins oh, uh, Mr. Miyagi or something no that's no. Karate Kid that but that, that will do <laughs> that'll do yeah. yeah but we've got a keeper grandpa yeah and he is a shopkeeper yeah, as well he moved to the United States as well everybody moves to the United States in the 80s action movies this is true he, he knows about the rules, though, the three important ones. Yeah, he does. <laughs> All of them. So, uh, I can imagine that there are one or two stars that you would want to get in there, but they're like, is Steven Seagal in the game somehow? I <laughs> Steven Seagal should be in the game somehow. Uh, we're, uh, we're thinking about doing some kind of uh, character, and that's, that's something that we're looking forward to. Like, after the game is released, we got a ton of ideas for characters. Mm -hmm. We got a ton of, the, of ideas for environments. The original game comes with uh, two environments, which is the Neo Tokyo one and the medieval one. Historically inaccurate <laughs> medieval one, and historically accurate Neo Tokyo, future Neo Tokyo. Uh, uh, but other environments, like I, I can, like on the top of my head, I like, come up with ten different environments that I would like to see, just in a cliche '80s action movie style, such as well uh, Miami Vice environment or like a Wild West uh, environment or something like that. Maybe a space one even. Very nice. Moonraker. <laughs> Absolutely. But but that is sort of the plan. That this is the platform. You're, you're getting it out at a cheap price. Hopefully lots of players will take to it and then you can sort of expand in whatever direction you, you see fit. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, I think Shodan has uh, such a good potential, especially like it's a strong foundation, it's a strong brand and the, the way the characters interact with each other and the possibilities uh, to, to stream the game uh, uh, from from in-game using Twitch and and all that has the potential to build a really good and, and nice community which would love to hear their opinions about what they want in the game and what they think about the game and in which directions we should take it like is ranked uh, eSport uh, gonna be the the kicker for this game or is it gonna be the custom rule sets which allow you to tailor the game in any way you want like from from infinite ammo to one-shot kills and uh, no common weapons or only common weapons or only kung fu that remains to be seen then, but it's, it's to me it strikes me as this kind of game that sort of would invite sort of a social gaming, more more the custom rules sort of things, 
but at the same time you never know what's going to catch up with the esport crowd because it could very well be very interesting as well for them yeah and it's something that we realize that you can't always predict exactly the way uh, uh, the crowd is gonna appreciate the game usually people tend to play the game their own way and that's that's sort of the essence that we want to keep from uh, uh, Smash Bros and uh, and uh, GoldenEye in that everybody's experience is different. I mean your experience playing GoldenEye is probably different from mine. Mine was all, always uh, license to kill and uh, assault rifles. And then and that's a beautiful thing and you are bringing out four modes to begin with so there is quite a few different ways to play the game even though perhaps all the custom things aren't in place when when it launches uh yeah the the custom gear rules are going to be in in place when it launches and as well as the four uh, game modes in the beta that's available right now if you pre-order pre there's only one game mode uh but we're going to expand that as as the beta uh continues uh, and the uh, different game modes are uh, the regular showdown mode, which is a uh, deathmatch followed by uh, Last Man Standing, which ends in the most glorious showdowns. You got uh, the team elimination, which is uh, basically an elimination mode where you have to eliminate the entire team before they respawn. And that creates some hilarious uh, chase scenes in the end. Uh, of every match. And then we got two uh, asymmetrical game modes. One is uh, uh, called The Expendables and the other one is One Man Army. And in those modes you get to play as henchmen, which are uh, crappy henchmen <laughs> that need to take down the heroes. But their their advantage lies in their numbers and their immediate respawn. So you're not gonna be sitting out waiting for the other team to respawn uh, uh, for you to respawn when you're a henchman. You're just gonna get into the fray, and you're gonna spawn real close to the to the heroes. What are you talking about? Stormtroopers have perfect aim, right? Yeah, especially when they're firing on that Java sandcrawler, yeah. which seems to be going very well, <laughs> but not later on for some reason. Exactly. So um, your your release date is actually set now, March fifth. Uh, what's what's left for you to do, and what are you, what kind of feedback are you looking for from the beta? Well, any feedback really. Like, uh, weapon balancing. We have been d uh, doing some really, like uh, we've been doing a lot of weapon balancing in the development of the game. But uh, we're always looking to more feedback. And what, when it comes to game modes, like the respawn timers, anything like that, like small tweaks to the bigger uh, issues, uh, or not issues, like the bigger points, like what, what, what is your preference? What, which game modes are the best? Uh, which characters do you prefer? Which abilities are the best ones? And that allows us to, to like get an indication of what's, what's the best way to play Shodan and what, 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 what does the community like? Right. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you as always. The showdown effect. Fight to the death or die trying.